Okay, man versus golf hole challenge from Royal Port Rush. I'm crouched down because it's a little bit windy still and uh, when I get up these uh, steps here, I'll be on the fifth tee. Very exposed and elevated position. I can't get the drone up either because it is, like I said, just a little bit too windy, but seriously, the view from up here is absolutely magnificent. I will zoom in uh, to the green now and give you a little bit of an idea of what the route is anyway. It looks to me as though it's a dog leg sort of left to right and meanders its way down to the green right on that Atlantic Ocean. It just looks stunning. I've seen this hole from perched up high from a, a hotel that sits up on the road up there and uh, stared down at it and I'm about to play it and I can't wait to give it a go. Okay, I don't know whether you'll catch because of the high winds, but I'm going with three wood. It's something like 380 yards. It's a par four. I don't know the stroke index, but who cares, eh? Let's just play it as it lies, no shots, and see how I get on. all this will be a lot heavier than it is now and uh, I'm quite a way short of that bunker I don't know what I was looking at there because that's uh, another 50 60 yards on but like I said I've got a shot in but the idea will be a lot further left off the tee than what I was on play it like that dog leg because it all canvas round from the left 120 in and now you get these balls to stop but we'll give it a go So assuming I don't get any shots on that, that's one up to Royal Port Rush. Okay, so once again, all introductions and chats that we have will probably nestle down somewhere and not necessarily up on the tee, which is to my left. Seventh hole here at Royal Port Rush. It's one of the new ones that they've built. It's a par five, 530 yards. We just watched a few people play it and find in a fairway. It isn't easy. I'm right into the teeth of the wind. Couldn't have picked anything more difficult for the second hole and I'm already one down.
absolutely great start anyway that's found the fairway with every good links track these fairways are always there the cameras always feed your ball into the into them and that's exactly what's happened here perfect drive at least i thought it was has ended up right back into one of these bunkers and now it's pitching wedge out the middle of the fairway in play and see what we can do from there I thought I'd play that shot really well but it's checked up on me I thought these greens were uh, going to be a lot quicker than that once I got to that brow but I'll take that I've got to make a five if to hold that putt just check the stroke index it's stroke index three so I've got one for the win one two for the half Audio's okay because it's really blustery and I just don't think you can hear me so there's not as much chat as we'd normally have on these uh, man versus golf hole challenges real tough par five straight into the wind I took a bogey six and I'm happy with that to be fair uh, great it's a brand new hole don't forget uh, to Port Rush and it looks as though it's been here for absolute years and uh, so please with the six that's our half but Port Rush remains one up on the average golfer Okay, so we're going to play the next new hole, which is the 8th at Port Rush. I'm going to do it for two reasons. One, because it's another one of the new holes, so it'll be uh, great for you to, to see this one. But also because the weather's took a little bit of a turn, and from the sunny start that we had, it's going a little bit grim. So I want to get these in before, uh, well, before I don't get the chance, maybe. Anyway, this is 410 yards to par 4. It's stroke index, I think, 13, so no shots again on this one. I'm going to need to birdie it to get back to a half, because don't forget, course is one up at the moment. Hope you got that one on the ball flight. I It was almost a perfect tee shot but I've just pulled up there's a little bit of rough top right hand corner of the perfect ball flight but like I said it's just bounced just a yard short and I think it's just held it up a bit otherwise it's, uh, it looked absolutely perfect from off the club on left side of the green and has rolled through to the back I don't know what's on the back of the green but uh, it doesn't seem too bad but it's unlikely that I'm gonna get that birdie to bring me uh, level with the course what happens when you try and get cute and you just ain't good enough for it these greens are so punishing the iron that I just played in was a pretty decent iron to be fair it's run back into um, this little swale and uh, I thought again nice little chip up perhaps I need an extra extra yard or so just to get it up to the top and release to the hole but didn't get it and it rolls straight back down and although it hurts you when you see it come back down you've got to respect the golf course and the design of it again and uh, it still oddly enough puts a smile on my face so we'll move camera and I'll have another go <laughs> I 
off we've got that on the... I just hold it. I hope we press record with somebody up on the green there. Did we press record? I'm getting the thumbs up. I just can't believe that. This game is an odd game, isn't it? And uh, I've just had a chip that rolls straight back to me. Try the same one again, give it a little bit more. I wasn't going to stay down here again. And I've gone and rifled it straight into the pin and into the hole for a four. A great way to finish. The sun has come back out. It's put a massive smile on my face. What a place this is. I'm only eight holes in and I'm going to get you a lot more footage around the place. But for now, World Port Rush is one up on the average golfer. It wins, it beats me. It nearly gave me a hiding to be fair, but uh, I got away with just one down in the end. It could have been three down. Uh, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you to Royal Port Rush for having the average golfer and the man versus golf hole challenge. As always, uh, hit that like button, comments down below, and uh, I'll see you soon. But I'll be, uh, I'll be replaying that one in my mind later on when I go to bed. Thank you.